Okay, so we're just going to do some problems where we're working with slope and finding slope, graphing lines, and finding data with slope. So let's just get started here with number one. So we're given two points and we need to find the slope. Remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x between two points. And so we can just find that um, looking at our change in y, 7 minus 3 over 5 minus 2, or minus 3, sorry, our change in x. This will give us 4 over 2, and our slope is equal to 2 for our answer. What about this one? We're given the slope and a y-intercept, and we need to write the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line, and also graph the line. So remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We can just stick these values in here. So for slope-intercept form of this line, y equals mx. m is a slope, so that would be minus 2x plus our y-intercept b, which is 3. So this is the equation of our line. If you wanted to graph this line, you would need the coordinates of the y-intercept. Um, that's where it passes through the y-axis, so it'll, you'll always um, be at 0 and then whatever b is, so here it's 3. So you can plot that point, 1, 2, 3. Here's our y-intercept, and then using our slope, it's minus 2 over 1. Um, so since it's just 2, so you'd go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. You can plot the line as soon as you have two points, but having more helps me draw a little bit of a straighter line since I don't have a ruler. And so this is the line that is described by y equals minus 2x plus 3. How about another one? Same type of format. So let's just plug this in to slope intercept form y equals one-third x plus our y-intercept, which is zero, so the equation is just y equals one-third x. Our y-intercept is zero, zero, so you can plot that point, and then use the slope to find other points on the line, just positive, so you go up one over three, up one, over 3, up 1 over 3, and you finish drawing the line when you feel most comfortable, and that's the line for y equals 1 third x. What about another one? We need to find the x and y intercepts and find the slope. Well, the x and y intercepts is where the line crosses the x and y axis, so we need to determine what these points here and here are. For our x-intercept, it's just 5, 0, and for a y-intercept, that is at 0, 2. And now you can use these two points to find the slope for change in y, 0 minus 2 over 5 minus 0 is minus 2 fifths. You should be able to check this, find any point on the line. Let's just grab our y-intercept. You should be able to go down 2 and over 5 for 5 and be on the line, and that works. What about another one? Same sort of situation. Find the x and y-intercepts and also the slope. So our x-intercept here is minus 2, 0, and our y-intercept is 0, 4. Finding slope, 0, minus 4, over minus 2, minus 0, is minus 4 over minus 2, m equals 2. And so this is uh, using slope whether it's in slope-intercept form or taking graphed lines and identifying x and y intercepts and using those points to find slope. Um, we have examined slope in a variety of contexts in these problems.